Oh, well, how's everyone's weekend? Uh, things have been going on here. Been putting a temporary roof over for the chickens because we've actually never had chickens over a winter before. Um, but we raised these ones right from day old, so we put that up just for uh, just for now. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, finish that off. They should be better this winter. We're gonna wrap the sides around too, and uh, should protect them a little bit more. Uh, 16 is sitting here now. Pretty much have it stripped. I'm gonna pull the rear end and the front end uh, out of this, and then start doing the chassis and order the parts for the rear end, and uh, go from there. Uh, on 30s in here chilling, and I did take the 16 engine apart. Sorry, but lost all the footage when my phone updated, and uh, well, that's that. Uh, it's going to engine bar hopefully this weekend. He's gonna bore it out. I stuck a hone in it, and uh, it's hard to see. I did hone it quite a bit <clears throat> but uh other than that it still needs a board and uh the valves i'll get them done too but uh hard to see here you know <clears throat> it still has to get done so it's gonna go over there and get its finishing up um Got the snow blowers on the 16 and the 155 and the Mardek off the 317. So I'm gonna put the 317 back where the 16 is and uh, put the 16 up here. Um, still gotta find a set of weights for this. I'm gonna run these two and I'll put those tires on back there that I have for the 155 with chains. It'll be a backup machine, and if one of these craps out, then I can just throw the weights over quick and uh, use it. But I'm going to try to take it easy on this old girl this year. Uh, got the gearbox all topped up with oil. The ADW90 I put into it with um, some of the Lucas um, stop leak. It's like thick as molasses, so I put about half of a... The gearbox full of that and the other half with 8090 and then ran it for a bit to get it all mixed in and uh if there is any leaky seals in that hopefully it helps slow it down but so that's what i'm doing right now i'm gonna move this one out the 12 out and the 317 out and put the 317 back we're here pull the battery and uh yeah well let's get started at least I can start this one up because it already has the battery in it. battery fired into this 12 and uh, one into the 16 we can get these out and uh, we'll get right, back to so you. I got the battery in the 12 and the battery in the 16 and I'm actually kind of curious to see how this 12 starts up because this is uh, the longest that I've had it sitting without starting it since I got all this carb issue figured out with it so let's see what we have here
started. So. Better than what it was doing before. And I guess we'll get the old 16. See how good it fires up. I think this thing still needs some fine tuning on the car, but we'll see here. tractor so I think that's how I'm gonna do it and then uh, these ones will be ready to go uh, I got tire chains ordered from this one uh, this should be in hopefully by the end of the month and that one's ready to go and then if I can find weights like I said for that one then I'm fully set um, so the big plans for this winter is um, Pulling the motor on this, um, I'm gonna order up the gasket kit, a new carburetor, and get the valves done and adjusted on it because they're uh, grind to adjust valves. They're not adjustable, so uh, I want to get them redone anyway. So I'm gonna get my parts from iSaveTractors.com. They have all the 317 parts, uh, well KT17 parts that I need. So I'm gonna order that and then I'll send it over to engine bar to get the valves done and the heads uh, decked and cleaned up and all that. So then this will be hopefully all good for next spring. And then um, this is gonna probably get put back together over the winter. And depending on how my heat situation goes for in here, I can start trying to paint with this and see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to try to do it all myself instead of getting someone else to sandblast and prime it and paint and all that. So it'll be fun and interesting to teach myself how to use a spray gun, but I believe in myself and that's all that counts. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, oh, and uh, I'm getting um, another Massey Ferguson 12 and a 10 and the tiller delivered to my buddy's place that I gave the other 16 to. And I'm gonna bring the 12 back here and do a little bit on it. A guy for, uh, watches the channel, he lives up by Hamilton and he has them. So we, uh, I got that from him and hopefully all that works out this weekend. He's gonna meet us over at my buddy's place and then I'm gonna maybe take the 12 back here or he's just gonna bring it here on Sunday or something. But so other than that, that's what's been going on. Uh, I guess we'll start putting these tractors away and, uh, go from there. I'll get back to you when they're all in order. All right, so we got everything moved in here. I left the 12 out. Um, like I said, after this weekend, once we get these tractors dealt with, um, 317 is going to go on my trailer and I'll pull the motor out of it in the trailer because it's going to be a real aggravation to move in there after the motor's pulled um 16 it's perfect i got it finally tuned up now that it just runs perfect 155 i can swap over the tires probably this weekend to those ones with chains and then uh over in here got 130 obviously still chilling the 12 and there's the rest of the 16. I pulled the transmission out, put it up against there and uh, that's how she's gonna sit for a little bit until uh, 
we get a plan together here with everything that's going on. So right now the 16 is at least my priority. Uh, I just want to get the 317 good and uh, make sure what I'm going into with next year is going to run good. Uh, this one I'm going to put the deck on it probably in the summer. And I'm getting a 10 off my buddy too that's in real beautiful shape. It has a deck on it. So maybe the 10 and 12 will cut grass this year, but the 317 as well. And I got the 16 and the 155. But gee, I can cut grass with pretty much all the tractors I have except for the 130 and my 110 that's restored. So other than that, I hope you guys are uh, staying safe, enjoying the weekends, enjoy the warm weather while it lasts. And, uh, other than that, take care, stay tuned, and uh, hope you guys enjoy.